just dug out of this hole here. Lead K shot. Sit about 69 caliber. Hello but folks, we're out here in southern West Virginia today doing a little bit of relic hunting and look at me a pretty nice little friction primer right here. It's about oh, probably seven inches deep. It's only the second one I've ever found. But yeah, hoping to have a pretty good day here. And we've got something right here. So uh Try to use the matic now. Try to retrieve it best I can. It's right there. Dig a little more. It's in my hand. And it is, it's a bullet, and it is a 58, and man is it mangled, it's all mushroomed out. But uh, good find, and I'm happy to have it. Target's right in here, and I don't know what it is, but uh, it's bringing out a good sound. Still there. It's in my hand now. Might be a 22. I don't feel a lot, of, a lot of weight. Hold on. There may be weight. Yep. There it is. It's another 58. And that one has fired at close range, man. That's mushroomed up like a, a little hat, like a little sombrero or something. That sucker hit hard and it was close. Uh, some of these guys were so close that they could actually talk to each other. There's several accounts from my relatives who one was in the Yankee army and one was in the Confederate army. The one thing about this battle, my great great uncle was at this battle and he had told my grandfather uh, back in, uh, before he died in 1928 that this was the worst battle he had fought in as far as the firepower. He had been at Second Bull Run and been at Kelly's Ford and a lot of other major battlefields in the Eastern Theater and uh, he'd also been down in the Shenandoah Valley on Hunter's Raid. But uh, he said of all the battles, this one was the, the worst and the one that he is uh, uh, scared the most at. Uh, he said he looked down the hill and he looked down upon the little town that was down below them and thought to himself, any second now, the order's gonna be given for us to rise. And once we stand up, we're gonna be subjected to this fire and when the order was given to rise he knew it was going to be certain death for him he turned his head and looked down the hill because he was afraid he had see the soldier who would kill him but the thing it is the angle of the mountain was so steep that the bullets continued to whiz over his head and at the same time the federal artillery had zeroed in on the federal confederate line and uh they were dropping shells almost right on the Yankees, and the Yankees had to had to uh, flag down their artillery to uh, tell them to uh, uh, stop firing because it was too close. Uh, once the Federal artillery quit firing, the Federals continued their charge up the mountainside and uh, broke into the Confederate lines. This had happened on at least three different sides. It was a classic pincer movement. The Confederates are forced to fall back and back across the fields fighting. The Confederates actually made contact in three different places with these Federal soldiers uh, in the battle. And uh, let's see what we got. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. All right, let's use the metal detector here. It says it's right in here someplace. So let's move around. Probably help if I turned it on, wouldn't it? Let's turn it back off and turn it back on to get ground balance. There it is. Right here. 
There it is. That's a beauty. Looks like a 58. Hold on a minute. What is this? What is this? It's a deep it's a deep dish burnside, it looks like. I can't quite tell. This old relic dozer up here still up here on this old mountain up here looking for some relics. Um, I got me a pretty good signal here. I can't promise anything, but it seemed like there was some pretty good numbers there that looks pretty decent here. I'm gonna see if I can't do this a live dig, which is kind of tough. We we'll won't try it anyway. So I'm about 10 inches deep. In the clump somewhere. There it is. Well, I guess it must be a little, some kind of a little pistol ball or round ball of some sort. This is muddy, and I mean muddy. A lot of rock in here. I am probably going to have to use the, the matic to dig just a little bit more, so let's go ahead and do that. Cut these vines. Uh, Brian had talked in one of his previous videos about dry firing a bullet hitting it with your shovel or your your matic and uh it's easy to do i mean you've got to be real careful and uh it's uh it's something we don't like doing but sometimes it's uh to a point where you, you know you just aha there it is there it is she's loosened up let's see if i can get her Oh, she's deeper than I thought. I thought she's in that loose stuff. She's not. She's in there really deep. Come on. Oh, I got her. Be a bullet. Oh, it is a bullet. It's it's a Civil War bullet. What kind? What is that? Is that a three ringer? Uh, hold on a minute here. Let's take another look at this. It's so muddy, it's hard to... I, I think that's a three-ringer. It appears to be a three-ringer to me. It looks like a 58. Uh, it appears to be a dropped one. Anyway, as you can see, it's really muddy. That rain uh, just left a mess. I got this really weird uh, signal here a minute ago, and I went ahead and dug it. As you can see, the hole there, it was pretty deep. It was... Uh, let's see how deep it was. There you go. is about six inches deep but uh, anyway it's giving me a real funky signal and this is actually a musket cap a top hat musket cap I do not know if it's Union or Confederate but it's an awesome little find uh, these usually rot away and uh, there's nothing left of them but nice little find all right I just got a killer signal right here reaching into about 75 it about blew my doors off I don't know what it is uh, but uh, let's take a look and see if we can maybe find out what it is together. Is that it? By golly, look at that. Look at that little baby. It's a three ringer. And man, she's hammered hard. 
she has hammered hard. That's a Yankee bullet fired at the Confederates right up on this ridge, right up above. It's a shotgun shell. Shotgun shell. At 20 feet. You know him? You love him? You gotta have him. <laughs> he, really wanted, he really wanted to say something else. Right turd. <laughs> <laughs> Just dug a fired 69. See the ram marks on it? About... Oh, six to eight inches deep. Real good signal. Did you find the shell there, Alex Trebek? Find the shell yet? I'll take Civil War shell for 200, Alex. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the Daily Double. That's the Daily Double. <laughs>